guys, MJG here, and today we'll be reviewing the whole truck lineup from Mix 22. Now we have eight trucks to review today, so I don't think we should waste any more time and let's jump straight into the review. And we're gonna start off with the Retro Rebels Gravedigger. So here's the front of the box, which shows off the truck. Flip it around to the back of the box and you have the other trucks that are in the set. Now the backs are all the same on the truck, so I'm not gonna go into detail on all the card backs. So just so you know, let's not waste any more time and let's rip it into it. All right, we got them out of the box. Now, I don't really know anything about Mix 22. I've not been up to date with the recent Monster Jam news. So this will be a total surprise for me for really everything. So we have a ramp here, which is kind of dope. I think you can put kinetic sand in here and make a ramp mold. So that's kind of cool. Let's take a look at the poster. Of Monster Mutt. I think they've used this before back in 2019. I know they made a Monster Mutt poster in 2019, but I'm not sure if that's the exact one. All right, here's the back of the poster. All right. Wait a second. I didn't get all the drugs from Mix 22. I'm missing Monster Mutt. And they didn't have Monster Mutt there. My bad, guys. See, I told you I wasn't up to date and I really didn't know anything. I didn't even know Monster Mutt was in Mix 22. Okay, so I guess we don't have the full set. But I'm still gonna put that in my title because I genuinely didn't know. All right, but let's take a look at the Gravedigger. Now, I don't think there's any difference on this Gravedigger than the other ones that we've gotten in the past. It's just a normal Gravedigger that they've, I think this is a re-release, I'm not too sure, but I'm not gonna go into full detail with this Gravedigger because we've seen it so many times in the past. So let's move on to the Legacy Trucks El Toro Loco. So without further ado, let's open this up. All right, this one also comes with a ramp, but here it is. Now, this is my first black El Toro Loco. I didn't get the um, one in the five pack. I never got that five pack because I thought it was pointless because it was just a bunch of re-releases. And then I never got the Showtime truck. So this is a first for me. This is El Toro Loco right there, Monster Jam right there. It's got the red and yellow horns. The flames coming out the nose. Same thing on this side as it was the other side. El Toro Loco and MonsterJam.com on the back. A black roll cage with a black chassis. It's got BKTs and orange rims and black tires. But that's basically all you can review for El Toro Loco. So let's move on to the Hyper Fueled Grave Digger. This one also comes with a ramp, but here it is. Now this one is a little different, kind of reminds me of the Nitro Neons that we got in 2019. It says Grave Digger right there. It's got the flames on the front, the classic headlights, same thing on this side as the other side. It's got Grave Digger and Bad to the Bone up there. The whole truck is green, so I really don't have to go over the colors of the truck. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory, you know? Well, let's move on to the next truck, which will be Storm Damage. All right, this one comes with something different. It comes with a barrel. This is an interesting accessory. It's got like dents in it and stuff. I, that's, I guess that's cool. I mean, I, don't, I mean, it's just a barrel. Not really much you can say about it. I'm assuming that they're doing these type of molds for their kinetic sand and trying to profit off of that too. But let's take a look at storm damage. This is monster jam right there. It's got storm damage right there. Nothing on the grill. Same thing on this side as it was the other side. Nothing on the tailgate, nothing on the roof. Got a blue roll cage with a great chassis. It's got black tires with orange rims. I mean, that's basically all you can say about storm damage. I mean, I mean, there's not really much to say about the guy. Let's move on to the next truck, which will be the see-through crew Max D. All right, this one comes with a barrel too. All right, but let's take a look at it. It's got a Monster Jam logo right there. Max D, Tom Mentz, Max D on the front. Same thing on this side as was the other side. Monster Jam on the back with the tail lights. 12 time world finals champion up there, Max D. The reason they call him a see-through crew is because the rims and the roll cage and the chassis are see-through. So, I mean, that's kind of neat, I guess. I mean, I, if it was a see-through crew, I assumed the whole truck would be see-through, but I mean, it is what it is. And that's basically all you can say for the see-through crew, Max D. So let's move on to Max Contrast Megalodon. All 
Hey, this is different. You get a white ramp. I can see people like making a snow diorama with this. All right, but here is the Max Contrast Megalodon. It says Megalodon right there. It's got the Monster Jam logo. Same thing on this side as it was the other side. The white fins, teeth, the eyes, the nose. It's got a black roll cage with a white chassis. It's got white tires with black rims. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but the Megalodon logo really stands out and pops out for me for some reason. And I don't really know why. It's just like an eye catcher for me and I can't put my tongue on it. Well, that's basically all you can say about the Max Contrast Megalodon. Next up is Lumberjack. All right, we get a crush car this time. And yeah, this is just for Kinetic Sand so they can mark it off of that because this is just like what Hot Wheels used to do. Yeah, I know your trick, Spin Master. It's not gonna work on me. All right, but let's take a look at Lumberjack. Now, this is a totally new casting. This is a indie truck, I'm assuming. So we got a Monster Jam logo right there. It looks like a beaver right there and like a stream. We got Lumberjack right there. Lumberjack monster truck up on the hood. A Monster Jam logo, painted headlights. Same thing on this side as it was the other side. We got logs in the back, which is kind of cool. Nothing on the back. It's got a black roll cage with a gray chassis, and it's got black tires with orange rims. That's basically all you can say about Lumberjacks. So let's move on to the last and final truck, which is the True Heavy Metal Son of a Digger. We didn't get an accessory with the chase piece, so that's kind of weird, but here it is. And now this truck is very heavy. I mean, obviously it's true heavy metal because it's got a metal base. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the last time that they used a metal chassis was for the training trucks in 2019. But let's take a look at it. It says Son of a Digger right there with a Monster Jam logo, nothing on the front. Same thing on this side as it was the other side. Son of a Digger on the roof, nothing on the hood. Got a blue roll cage with a chrome chassis. It's got black tires with black rims and BKT on the tires. That's really all you can say about the true heavy metal son of a digger. But that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, definitely consider smashing that like button and like subscribe. Peace out. MJG out.